welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what you normally see on my channel and that would be um, videos related to using up makeup. Um, so I'm going to do a two-part video today. The first part is going to be a beauty haul and the second part is going to be a vlog. They all stem from my recent road trip to Seattle this past weekend. I went um, with two family members and a friend and we had just a great time and of course um, I didn't really buy any clothes everybody knows that what I'm interested in is makeup so I had to go to the Ulta to Sephora because there's some things in Sephora in the US that aren't sold here in Canada so I had to check those out and where else did I, I went to Target as well because if everybody knows Target just closed here in Canada so I wanted to check out um, their prices there and see what I could find so that is what I'm going to show you now and and then if you are interested, stick around for the second part, which is the vlog portion of this video. The first place I went to was Target and there's something that I've been wanting to try for a really long time and those are the NYX butter glosses. I've seen them on Courtney K's channel who's another project panner here on YouTube and I decided to try them out so I got the color Eclair, Eclair which is this pink kind of mauve color. I think this would look really good um, going into fall. And then I also got creme brulee number five, which is this more orangey coral color. So I'm really looking forward to trying those two out. And it was, oh no, it was, I think you could buy three and get five dollars off, but I only ended up buying two because I wasn't going to fall for their marketing scheme. <laughs> um, and then the last product that I got at Target is something I've been searching for for a really long time and I can never find this, is the Batiste Dry Shampoo for Deep Dark Brown Hair. And right now my hair is going a little bit blonde in the front here just because of summertime the sun tends to um, lighten my hair a little bit. But I do like um, dyeing my hair darker in the fall and so I just want to try this out and see what it looks like. So when I finish, um, I, right now I'm using Marc Anthony dry shampoo. Yeah, and when that's done then I'm going to try the Batiste um, dry shampoo out. So the next place that I went to was uh, Sephora and this, I think I, I'm pretty sure I can get all of these products here in Canada, um, but I ended up getting this uh, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. I have this on my eyelashes today and my um, first impressions of it are that I really liked the wand and I liked the formula, but I'm not sure it's as black as it could be the color of the product. Um, so obviously I have to try this out a little bit more before I can give um, an opinion that's worth something um, but that's my first impressions and then the other product that I got is from Clinique and it's the Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum. I don't know if anybody has heard of this before but I got a sample of this not that long ago within the last four to five months and I tried it out. And it was amazing what it did for my skin. I could tell the difference just within that about three weeks to a month's time that that product lasted. It's not a, the smell of the product isn't great, so that's kind of one of the negative points about it, but my skin, the the texture of my skin was so smooth after that time that I just was like, you can deal with, I could deal with the smell if that's what it was going to do for my skin. So I bought the bigger size of it and I'm really looking forward to using it. I'm going to use it as a night cream. I'm almost done the night cream I'm using right now by First Aid Beauty. So then I will jump into this um, serum by Clinique. So I decided to get this, it was a 100 point part from Kat Von D. It's a studded kiss lipstick and this is in the color love craft and I thought this would be a really great color for the fall so I haven't tried it on or anything yet but the only thing that I can tell you is that it smells good because that's all I have <laughs> done so far is seen how it smells 
So those are my products from Sephora. The last two items that I got are from Ulta and I have never set foot in an Ulta before this weekend and obviously um, I seen I have seen a lot of beauty hauls on YouTube of people going to Ulta and I understand why there are beauty addicts out there and makeup hoarders and whatnot because this place was amazing. It was strictly makeup everywhere. Any brand that I could imagine I felt was there, whether it was or not, I just felt that every brand was there. Um, it Cosmetics was so cool to check out what they had and then NYX was this huge row of all these products and tons of them that we don't have in Canada like the shade and contour palette but they were all out of stock so I didn't get it anyway but I did end up picking up two products they were buy one get one 50% off which is always nice so I did um fall prey to the Ulta marketing scheme <laughs> but um I ended up getting the NYX dark circle concealer in orange pigment which is this and this is my number one problem area is my dark circles um, under my eyes it's just a bad situation so anything I can do to help and I'm act I'm thinking about doing a video of uh, concealers giving a review on different products because I've recently used up my MAC Pro Longwear right now I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer I bought, no, I'm using the Maybelline Dark Circle Eraser and then I bought the Fit Me and then I'm going to be trying this out as well and then I bought another product from MAC for under the eye. So I thought about doing some sort of tutorial about covering under eye circles and then um, kind of going along the same line. The second product that I got from Ulta is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana and I believe I saw this on Kathleen Light's channel. She does a lot of really um, fantastic tutorials and I, I'm pretty sure it was on her channel that I saw this but I was really impressed by this product and the way that it looked on um, the face so I wanted to give it a try and um, use it as a setting powder under my eyes. So that is everything that I got in Seattle this past weekend. I really hope that you're going to enjoy the second part of the video. I tried to um, film different pieces when I was down there um, to share with everybody. If you live um, near Seattle area, it is just so beautiful and you are so lucky um, to live by the ocean. Um, other things I want to say before I get into the vlog is if you want to follow me on Instagram, I will link that down below. Um, I only have, I think, six photos now, so I am slowly working my way up there. I was thinking about doing a 30-day challenge, like a 30-day Instagram challenge where I had to post a photo every day. We'll see if I end up doing that, but I'm thinking about it and then if you want to be friends on Pinterest I will also link that down below and please subscribe to my channel if you want to keep updated with my videos um, which are mostly project pan videos but occasionally a haul video. Um, thank you so much for watching today and I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.